Welcome back. So this day was on the calendar for a storm for a while now, but it's been on the calendar for many Christians for much longer. Today is Ash Wednesday. It marks the beginning of Lent and here in the Twin Cities, it's a snowy one. So we wondered if as many people would still be heading out to get their ashes on their foreheads despite these conditions. Well, as Kaya shows up, what one parish decided to meet this moment creatively. The pews are empty now, but at two Ash Wednesday services earlier, 125 people came despite the snow. At St. Helena Catholic Church in Minneapolis. That's already been beautiful, seeing the parishioners come out of the cold. Father Marcus Millis says Ash Wednesday turnout was better than expected, but still lower than usual. So in between services. Hello, Carol. He's personally delivering a mini mass to those who can't come. So we're going to go out and visit those who are homebound. So we were planning on helping shovel anyway with the snow coming. With school canceled, a couple of kids are spending their snow day tagging along. Hello. Hello, Irene. Hello. Happy Hello. Ash Wednesday. After a reading from Matthew, take care not to perform righteous deeds and the Lord's Prayer. And Irene, remember that you are dust, and unto dust you shall return. Amen. Father Millis smudges the ashes, bringing a tradition that means a lot to them, even if it looks a little different this year. That's a first <laughs> to come to my house. I always go there. I was really missing going, you know. Uh, to church. We want to make sure people know that we walk with them in whatever their journey is. If you'd like to receive ashes, you can contact St. Helena's emergency line through 10 o'clock tonight. Kaya Edwards, Carol 11 News. It's a beautiful story. Well, some other churches told us they'd hold live streams of their Ash Wednesday services, including St. Mark's Episcopal Cathedral in Minneapolis. And some other churches that decided to cancel did encourage parishioners to try and hold a DIY Ash Wednesday at home. You do what you can to stay safe.